Welcome back, heroes of some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Last episode, we began the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series, which has been a bunch of fun. Dueling with the elemental heroes against like Alexis, Crowler, even uh, use Zane against Jaden, using the uh, Cyber Dragons, which was pretty cool, got Cyber and Dragon out. So, next we're going to do um, Bastion first chance. It's going to be a good duel. Dr. Crowler was still looking for someone that could defeat Jaden Yuki in a duel. He thought that he found his answer in Bastion Misawa. A mathematic genius who calculated his duels to an exact formula. Later in class, a fellow blue student told Chad's pr uh, Princeton that he could no longer sit in the obelisk blue section. Chad would have now have to sit with the ride yellow losers instead. This is all wrong. I don't belong over there with those losers. Dr. Crowler, tell everyone this is a mistake. Tell them I belong up here. But you don't. You haven't seen. You haven't since you lost that one duel to. Oh, who was it now? Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Jaden Yuki. Which is why you will duel Bastion Misawa tomorrow. If you lose to him as well, you two will switch dorms. You mean I'd become a raw yellow duelist? Yes, very good. Then if only you could duel as well as you could listen. The next morning, a school staff member told Jaden that there was a large number of cards floating in the water of the docks. Jaden, Bastion, and Cyrus went to investigate. Ah, that's Ring of Destruction. And Force Raider. Bastion, these are all your cards. It's my own fault. This deck was in my desk, and I moved my desk to the hallway yesterday when we were painting. Someone must have taken it then. Who would do something like this? Someone who doesn't want you to advance to Obelisk Blue, that's who. Your deck is totally ruined. Oh man. Well, what are you going to do now, Bastion? Your promotion exam is less than an hour away. Less than an hour later. Bastion, you've made it. Let's see you've brought some friends. Hope you do better than the company you keep. Wait a sec, Chaz is the test opponent? Bastion, then he must be the one who toasted your cards. Pardon? Don't know what you're talking about. Dr. Krell and do a thing. Oh, is that so? I saw you, Chaz, this morning by the water. You dumped them in and ran off. I normally wouldn't snitch, but you don't mess with someone's deck. Oh, come on. Who's to say I wasn't throwing away my own cards? Guess Bastion and I just had similar decks, that's all. Liar. No one calls me a liar, and no one calls me a thief. Fine, then you're not. Let's just have our duel. Ooh. Honestly, cannot remember um, Bastion's deck at all. Does he have, like, different, many different decks? Remember Chaz's deck, he had like the Armed Dragon, the Ojamas, uh, what else did Chaz have? Other things I can't remember. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright. I'm gonna find out soon enough. Oh, the Water Dragons! No, that's Bastion's deck, I remember now. Okay. And I totally, like, I remember the Water Dragons, but I've never ever used them. And, okay. Off to a good start, Chaz, I see. Okay. Right, this could be disastrous. Oh wait, no, that's a fight star, but we can you can discard this card, add one bond and spell trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one Hydrogeddon or Oxygeddon or Duotyrion in your graveyard special summon. Okay, um, I don't know how to use this deck, so I'm going to activate this, get a dinosaur to hand. Who do we want? If this guy is destroyed by battle of a pyro monster instead of the graveyard, each player takes 800 damage. Well, Chaz has got a bunch of pyros on, on the field at the moment. I mean, that could be pretty good. We have bonding here, so what does bonding do? Tribute two hydro getting and one oxygen special and one water dragon from your deck hand or graveyard. Okay. So we need a tribute. This is like it's gonna be so hard to get out. So we need to get two hydro getting and one oxygen. We got these two. So let's let's summon this. Let's go battle phase. Attack this dude. I right, got Wabaku to stay alive. We'll try and get Water Dragon out. Attack of five monsters in the power monsters on the field become zero when this card is destroyed instead of the graveyard can target two hydro getting and one okay. So the key to victory against Chaz is gonna be getting Water Dragon out, because the Pyros Chaz has won't 
have any attack. Okay, uh, when this card is destroyed by opponent's attacking monster, okay, uh, what does this do? When a monster is normal summoned to your side of the field, okay, you can increase the attack, increase that monster's level by one in this card's attack. Okay, that's fine. Call the Hornet, that's fine again. So far, so good. And now I'm going to activate this, because I need to stay alive. <laughs> right. Kind of a bonding, oh my goodness. Right, so let's battle phase. Problem is, I'm a bit of a pickle. If this thing wants to try and. Well, it's going to kill my Hydro Geddon a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'm sure about its effect. So now I can just get a Water Dragon out. Uh, hey. So, bonding. Do we have one water dragon? We do, we only have one water dragon. Okay. But once it dies, we get the free back and then we just get another one, right? Yeah. Sick. Let's end turn. Oh man, this is good. Ain't no way we lose this duel now. Yeah, you get on the defensive, boy. Alright, Geki. You know what? Let's just go for it. Probably been smart to save, you know, hold him to that and save it for like when he gets a bunch of monsters out, but we'll be fine. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, yeah, just take that. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, I can just swap battle, okay. Fair enough. It's all good. I don't mind. Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. He just wants to put a lightning blade on. Okay, that's fine. Uh. I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna keep that out. Alright, summon this. And battle phase, we can take out this dude. Oh no, I take 300 damage, what a shame! The next time we tribute thingy for this, and then we. I don't know if we want to get. Uh, uh, it, it depends. Because I'm not sure if we don't have all the requirements for Water Dragon's effect if it dies to special summon. Like, if we got like one and one instead of all three, do we still get the, the effect? Get the rest out? I don't know. I didn't mean to activate effect. I just meant to uh, uh, summon you, but whatever. It's fine. It's all good. Gonna risk it. Yes, good. Take that 2 8 damage. Woo! Do next turn. Next turn, it's all over. <laughs> yeah, you stay on the defensive, Chaz. Oh, another one. I mean, it's like, isn't it? Uh, how do you, I don't know how you pronounce it. Cabosillus? It was this was played a lot, wasn't it? When um, it's a Dino mm. Rabbit was like one of the best decks. When you had like, uh, was it Dolker and Lugia came out? 
Oh, dude, I used to love this card, Command Knight. I think you got it in a tin. They got a secret, rare, a secret rare version, which I think I held on to for such a long time. I don't know what happened to it, but I used to love it. It's a good card. I should attack Water Dragon like I could have won. I got too, too arrogant and wanted to try and win with uh, Water Dragon. And now if I lose, this is my fault. Nope, we're good. Ooh. Uh, okay. All right. Let's finish him off. Easy peasy, Chaz. A well played duel, Chaz, but not well enough. Pure luck. You drew a lucky card and stumbled into the win. That's all. Perhaps. But luck favours the prepared. And I was prepared to beat you with half a dozen other cards as well. Sorry, you would have lost one way or another. Chaz, you stole, you lied, you cheated and you lost. You deserve to be demoted. Oof. Yikes, Chaz. No, oh, it's gonna get his face. This can't be. Kinda of feel bad for Chaz. Doomsday Duel. Okay, Chancellor Shepard, the Chief Administrator of Duel Academy, called Jaden, Bastion, Alexis, Chaz, Dr. Crowler, Professor Banner, and Zane to his office. He wanted to warn them about the Shadow Riders and the power of the free Sacred Beast cards. Oh, I remember this now. Free Sacred what cards? Sacred Beast cards. Due to their immense power and their colossal might, they were hidden here at the Academy. You see, this Academy was built in part to protect the Sacred Beast cards. They were buried deep underground, their power sealed safely away. Legends say these cards ever see the day at light of day, terrible things will happen. Our world will be no more. No more? So this is why the seven of you are here, to protect these three cards from the Wicked Ones. The Wicked Ones? That's right, seven duelers known as the Shadow Riders who covered these cards. I've heard of these Shadow Riders, they're no joke. You must be careful. Okay, so how do we protect these cards? By protecting the seven spirit gates. To get to the cards, one must unlock these gates. And to unlock them, one must gain the seven keys for the seven gates. That is how we protect these cards, by protecting the keys. Here they are, one for each you to guard. Oh, okay, uh, children, this is an important responsibility for me as well. We hold the keys, won't that make us targets? It's true, with these keys, the Shadow Riders will seek you out. Uh, seek us out? You mean, take us out? Only in a duel. Fortunately for our side, the keys can't simply be stolen. An ancient edict commands the keys must be won in a duel. And so, I've called on our school's seven best to take up the challenge and fight the good. Well, good good fight. Later that evening, Jay and Alexis were transported to a volcano, where they encountered the first Shadow Rider. Where are we? In one very weird dream. One nightmare. <laughs> it's Neva. What's going on? You mean you don't know? Call me a slow learner. Call me Night Shroud. It's a cool name, not gonna lie. I'll be the one at taking that key you have around your neck. Wow, you guys don't waste much time, do you? I'll get that key and I'll get it now. Oh, and just to make sure of that, I brought friends. What's that mean? Say hello to Cyrus and Chumley. Looks like they're in hot water. Or maybe I should say hot molten lava. But then such is the nature of a shadow game, key keeper. A shadow game? Listen, just do me, but let them go. I don't think so. Need them to ensure a speedy match. After all, that protection orb they're in, let's just say that it's not exactly built to last. Oh, and I'm afraid that there's more. Also at stake is your soul, which will be sealed in this card when you lose. Of course if I lose, then my soul will be sealed. But hey, let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> Me lose? No way. Now then, shall we? You can't agree to this. Tell it to Cyrus and Chumley. They're about to come meatballs in a lava stew. They're my friends and I'm not going to let that happen to them. Or us. Besides, it's not like this is my first shadow game. Just hoping it doesn't hurt as bad as the others. Okay, pal, you want to duel? You got it. Let's throw down. Get your game on. Hey, and I don't remember this guy's deck at all. I feel like, no, that can't be. I think that's um, 5D. Let's say Stinian Surgeon? I don't think it's this dude. Just because I can't remember what deck you have? Okay, not a bad hand. Alright, so we've got E. Just set this. And. End. Just need a poly. We draw a poly, we are good. I need civil fusion like I can make this battle as well. Okay. 
Uh, does piercing, doesn't it? But take a hundred. I don't remember what spear drag. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't. So far, I don't know what your deck's gonna be. Do you think that one card kind of just, you know, your main card? Can you just just remember the deck. <laughs> uh, let's get fusion gate, so we can actually do some fusions. And what can we make? Oh, we can make wild edge or tempest. Mudball man, we got we can make a lot. I think I'm gonna make Wild Edge. Can have a wild heart. And activate fusion gate. Keep Clayman in defense mode. And we can attack all the opponent's monsters. Let's go, Wild Edge! Okay. <laughs> Just keep attacking them. So he's got a dragon deck. I don't even like dragons, but Dra it's not going to be Dragoonity, no. Can I get oh my god, you'll realize darkness. Okay. I remember getting the structure deck for that. Same time, I think the zombie structure deck came out at the same time. Realize darkness. Okay, I remember this dude. Well, I remember the deck anyway. Not so much the dude. And turn. Gotta love Wild Edge, man. <laughs> right, I think we're going for like an all out attack next. Got Polly, hey. But we can't use it. Attack with you. Attack nice two thousand. Oh no, call the haunted. Can we attack a wild edge again? <laughs> hey, wild edge is too good. And I can't attack with percent of tricks. Okay. Guess we just end. Dude, man, love Wild Edge. Got a nice E. Uh, we'll save that for now. And I'll just summon it. Screw it. We haven't got. Yeah. And then that would be a nice 3,200. Got this in the bag. I mean, it's going to be terrible if he gets out Red Eyes Darkness because he's got a lot of dragons in the graveyard now and he could probably take me out. Easy. Like, it's 300 attack for each one, isn't it? So, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 18. Oh, okay. Does it still have 24... 100 or is it a bit higher? Because we obviously realize it's 2400. I think it might have a little bit higher. So you could easily get over 4k at least, we know that. Can't let him get it out, otherwise we are going to get wrecked. Uh, we good. Go E. Finish this off. Sorry, Night Shroud, you just got absolutely smashed, my friend.
Easy peasy. Wild Edge, man. I'm telling you, Wild Edge won us the duel. That's game. Sai, Chumley. Jiren collapsed to the ground as everyone else were transported outside the volcano. We're alive. What the? He did it. Jaden did it. Yeah. But where is Jaden? Look over there. Jaden, wake up. He's not moving. Come on, Jay. Sai, he's fine. Tired, maybe. But who could blame him? Not me. I'm tired. I do a thing. He's okay, which is more than I can say for Night Shroud. Alexis noted another body laying in the distance. Alexis? It can't be. It's him. I thought I'd lost him, but he's back. He's finally back. My brother's back. That car took away whatever darkness was holding him. Hey. Alright. Uh. Oh. I recognize the silhouette, but. Anyway, the second Shadow Rider, uh, Kamula, defeated Dr. Crowler and Zane taking both their spirit keys and trapping their souls into dolls. It was up to Jaden to put an end to her madness. Alright, Kamula. I'm here for my friend's souls. I'm not leaving till I get them. Ah, oh, now I remember, yeah. Truth be told, dear, you're not leaving here ever again. Not a single one of you are. Kamula, get your game on. And I mean on high. Because when someone duels my powers and turns their souls into some dolls, it puts me in a bad mood. Oh, God. <laughs> That's creepy. And let me tell you something. I don't care. Maybe this will change your mind. Dude, that's kind of creepy. Alright, uh... Oh no, was it a zombie deck that came with the, um... Dryas Darkness was a vampire deck. Remember the big, big dude. I think it might be a vampire, not a zombie. Alright, so let's try this again. And this time, let's... Hopefully do a little better. Alright, Skyscraper's sweet, so let's... Activate Skyscraper. Go Sparkman. Battle phase, let's take you out. Main phase two. Set the bottomless. And then let's go. This time we ain't gonna lose. Ah oh, man, that was so close though. Stupid, what is it called, like, Ryoka thing? Just super annoying. Alright, let's get my boy Stratos. Gotta get the Cinetrix. Wanna try to get Shining Flare Wingman? We just need two polys now. Should attack with Sp uh, Sparkman. Yeah, but I say it's still quite high defense, but usually zombies don't have the highest, the highest defense. Alright, let's end. This hand is going so much better than before. Should probably set MST just in case you put your field spell down. But you haven't, which is good. So we'll set MST next turn. Just not getting any uh any polys, are we? Nice. Do thirty one hundred. And then if you summon anything, bottomless, we win. We got this. Okay. I think we win. I think she bricked hard and now we come back. A pot of greed. Can you imagine if I draw two polymerizations right now? I would love that. Got one. I could just like, I just want to kind of do it in style, you know? That's kind of bad, but let's do this. Like I should easily win, but just in case, gotta do a little bit of a little bit of flexing, just to let her know that she won was a uh, when she won it was a fluke. <laughs> I could have got 
Tempest. Ah, oh, it's good. Like, how does that not have an animation? And Thunder Giant does. Like, I will never know. I kind of feel like Flame Wingman's like Jaden's, like, you know. Better one? Compared to Thunder Giant, Thunder Giant at least? Do that person. Alright, that's. Oh. Okay, can get to hand. <laughs> I don't care. Because you lose. So, Jade defeated Kamula, freeing Zane and Dr. Krella's souls from her dolls. <laughs> souls from dolls. That's game. At last, the nightmare's finally over. This one, at least. Kamula was just second of the Shadow Riders. That means more on the way. Hey. Uh. Like, I, I just don't remember a lot of these Shadow Riders. The two spirit gates already open, the Shadow Rider Tanya defeated Bastion and gained possession of his spirit key. After losing his daughter Tanya, Bastion became infuriated with her and wanted a rematch to prove that, that he was worthy of her. Tanya! Oh, Amazon S. Can't you take a hint? I already dumped you. Don't you remember? He wants a rematch. He can't have one. But you seem quite brave. I do? Ah, oh, but I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I duel you. Oh, there's no duel. Never back down from a challenge, I'll do it for Bastion. You know the rules, if you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status. Me and you, uh, you move here to this uh, battle arena with me and become my husband forevermore. I sure hope that Jaden knows what he's doing. <laughs> Losing on purpose, I sure do. And when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love to duel with passion. Uh, what, what do you say we start this, huh? Okay. Looking forward to this. I mean, Amazon S just best deck at the moment in speed duel. Well, I'd say one of the best decks. Like, I think it's probably with speed duel at the moment. I'd say the decks, the best decks are quite balanced. Well, I think there's probably three decks that are easily the best, and they all can beat each other. So, depend more depend on hands, but uh, let's set this and set a mirror force. And set a mirror force. Right, let's go. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Stupid no battle damage. Ugh. At least we can get Blade Edge in a second. She attacks again, that is. Hey, Swordswoman! Who is actually quite annoying. Oh no, I take the damage. It's fine. If I draw, draw a Wild Heart right now, that would be actually insane. Oh my god, let's go! Oh my god, that's actually sick! I can't believe I actually drew him. Dude. That was that was heart of the cards, 100%. I really hope her face down doesn't stop this attack, but... Ooh. Oh my goodness. Problem is, I'm gonna take battle damage here, which sucks, but at least it's gone. That's the important thing. Okay, your move. Back to drawing. Ooh, dude, I can't move through Wild Heart. That is just. Insane. Reinforcements of the army, don't get swordswoman. Oh, okay. How then? Uh what does that do? I guess it just brings it back. It's like call the haunted fat Amazonus. 
physical attack when able. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll take it. I'll take the, the what the seven hundred. I was gonna think about mirror force in it, but there's not much point. Although I guess that would have been a good idea, so I'll take damage from it anyway. Eh, whatever. Stupid swordsman. Too annoying, man. And then we do have 800. Alright, your move. Okay. Good for us. And that's not good for us. Come on, another monster, another monster. Hey. Alright, go attack with Wild Edge. Too risky attack or anything else, yep. Good. Slowly chipping our life points down, but. Yeah, it's going, it's going good for us. Can't complain. Okay. Now what do you want? Sparkman, hey. Right, we should... Oh no, I think... I try it. I'm gonna risk your Sparkman to try and win this turn. It paid off. We won. Unless you can stop this attack. Because if I attacked with, I'll be uh, what, uh, 24. For, yeah, we, she would have lived like with 400 life points. Ooh. Okay. And we won. Guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband. But I've discovered I am not worthy to be with someone as strong as you. Aw, farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that is this. Well, that that is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick him. Don't worry, buddy. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Aw. <laughs> Alright, a reason to win. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, I think that is the Sacred Beast guy, isn't it? Anyway, Lex is tending to her brother in the infirmary. A mysterious voice suddenly filled her head saying that she could save her brother under one condition, that she beat him in a duel. It was the voice of the Titan. Before it to be lost to the Shadow Realm, he'd returned as one of the Shadow Riders. Alright, so we duel, and if I win, you restore my brother's memories. That's the deal. Your end of it, at least. But if I win, I get something too. Your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was a bit of a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal. Authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. Right, let's go for paper. And we lose. Great. So you have the Archfiend deck. I'm not too sure how to use these like dancers. So this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. We've got MST, we just need to get rid of the field spell, and then you can't. You'll have to keep paying the cost to keep your Archfiends up. So you can decide one card and then target one face of damage from your opponent controls to that target. Okay. Uh, gains 500 attack during the damage step. Right. Let's set this. It's got 2000 defense. And then end our turn. Okay, sick. Don't want to let that, like, just... I don't think it affects, like, I don't know if it's got, like, an Archfiend that can just summon itself while that's in the field. So I have to make sure that's gone right away. Okay. Not going to attack? I oh, wouldn't. Alright, so 1,100 attack. Let's... Go. Do that 100 damage, boy. <laughs> Alright, end turn. Uh, 
She's in a poly right now, that'd be so good. This card, if the attack of each monster your opponent controls is higher than the attack of this card, it can take opponent directly. Well, yours is face down, so we can't really do anything at the moment. It's gotta be face up to destroy it. Okay. Please don't have that much attack. Oof, okay, it's fine. But you gotta pay Andrew life points to keep down the field, but now I can attack directly. So, I mean, that's always a plus. Okay, you go! He's tributing it for what? Summon Skull? Yeah, Summon Skull. That's not good. This time we got the gymnast. I can just destroy it and then we go from there. So activate effect. Discard. Two journey, keep these two alive so we can just fuse them. Because these two made the blade lady, right? Just double check in. Yeah. Alright, and now we attack for 1 8. Duel's going alright, to be fair. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, uh... Ow. Okay, okay, I don't know how to beat this. Um, never mind. <laughs> well, that's a do. Man, this door's actually kind of scary because, like, we ain't winning by much. Three cards in hand, which is also very scary. Face down, and that's it. Okay, can we win? I think we can win. Two, four, yeah. Gets the extra five attack during the damage step. Attacks directly, so we win. Okay, it's fine. Doesn't matter, get destroyed. All good. <laughs> oh no, not again, Atticus, Lexi, Addy, welcome back. Thanks, Lex, for everything. Wait, there are so many unanswered questions, like how you ever end up in the Shadow Realm. Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Lexi, I never chose to go. One day, few of us were told to meet at the abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a dual test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. I was brought to the Shadow Realm. They brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? Never did figure that out. However, the person who called me to take the dual test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? So he's on it? In on it? Ooh. Alright. And we'll go for this one. The final Shadow Rider. Amnil appeared and took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. Amnil was uh, now after Jaden Yuki and the final key. While searching for Amnil, Jaden and his friends were led to the abandoned dorm. Exploring the dorm, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the corner. Pushing aside, the cover revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their greatest surprise, or greatest surprise, Amnil, I don't know how you pronounce that dude's name, emerged from the shadows and removed the mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise. Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu. If you're if you're you, then who's that mummy? Do not call me Banner. I am Amnil, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you have to you have to beat me. If you cannot beat me, you'll be joining them, all of you. Come on, Prof. Snap out of it. Especially as you forget the one you know as Banner. He's no more. What do you mean no more? To understand everything, you must do just one thing. That is to duel and defeat me, Jaden. 
Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. You accept this challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you. Let's throw down. All right, I'm ready. Oh, heroic challenger ambush soldier. I should remember this guy's deck, but I just don't. Let's go first, so hopefully we'll find out and I can just prepare a little bit. So much easier to like duel when you know your opponent's deck, like at least like what some of the cards do. You can anticipate the combos. Seven colored fish. Okay. Okay, that's not scary. Rightio. Uh pot agree. Okay, two sparkmen, that's always good. Oh, we can get Electrum. Alright, let's go for Future Fusion. Uh, so, during your first standby phase, after this card activation, show one Future Monster in your extra deck. Send the Fusion materials to send them uh, from your main deck to the graveyard. Okay, that's good. And we are going to... Set this. Set this. Set that. Set that. And Spockman. Right, yeah. And this will do. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, I remember now. I forget what they do, but I remember the um, the artwork. This is not good. Okay, cool. I might just take all these attacks. Yeah, I'm going to take all the attacks for now. For a split second, I honestly thought he was attacking the Spark Man in my hand. I was like, yo, what are you doing? Oh no. Okay. That's the thing. Move from play cards gets attack and defense times 100. Okay. Right, so we should get. Wild Edge. Because Wild Edge can attack everyone. And then. It's on the. On your main deck to the. Okay, graveyard. During your second stamina phase after the card's activation, fusion on one fusion monster. Okay. Right, now we need to just do this smart. Just need to live. Just need to live a little bit. Which we should be able to do. Whew, okay. Oh, it's not going to work because it's not sent to the graveyard, is it? Oof, okay. It's fine. Just hoping one of his face downs does not destroy a wild edge because if it does, then we lose. Hey. Whew, okay, okay. I'm actually so nervous about this. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, I want to win. Oh, that's actually annoying. <laughs> actually so annoying. Um, Macrocosmos is actually going to really stop us from doing anything. Okay, another one, that's fine. You can't do anything. That's what I thought. Oh, all your monsters are getting destroyed. 100%. Right. 
and summon you. Alright, here we go. Let's attack everything. <laughs> oh, Wild Edge. I just realized you're getting tougher and tougher, which is not good for us. But it's not too much though, which is fine. Just basically, Macrocosmos has made like some of our cards dead. We held out, we got a wild edge. Worked out in the end. Not until you actually like Regeki or Black Hole, or just something. Another poly, great, just what I need. <laughs> Alright, doesn't look like he can activate anything either, which is good. So we should win next turn. Let's see if he wants to summon a monster, but... I think we're fine. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Come on, another monster, another monster. Reinforcements, okay, that would be fine. Alright, just gonna go straight for the attack, just wanna try and win. Don't want to waste resources we've got right now, just in case something bad happens. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. Can I not add... Has it got to be a poly as well? I think it has, hasn't it? Oh, seriously, this is not good. Just gotta get your boy Stratos. Okay, 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 okay. Do I want to summon him now? I don't. Do I? I think I should. Can I get Wild Heart? Just unaffected by traps, we can just try and finish him off. Come on, please let's win a monster. Please let's win a monster. Sick. Okay, we might win. Flute of Summoning Kribo. Can we win? And Wild Heart finish him off. Let's go! Oh, dude, that was stressful. Whew. The mummy is me. My body was ravaged by a curse. I knew what had to be done. I used alchemy to create a new body, and I placed my soul inside of it. It was only a matter of time before this body is a pile of dust in the wind. Professor Banner? Jaden, listen carefully to me, my boy. Everything I did was to test you, to prepare you for the real evil to come. That is why I became a Shadow Rider. Not to take over the world, but to stop the one who is truly trying to. You had to become a better duelist so that you could face him and ho hopefully defeat him. The threat is so grave that I had to deceive you. Hope that you can forgive me. It's over. It's gone. So what now? From what Banner said, I guess we should be on the lookout for some terrible evil that wants to take over the world. Okay, but when aren't we, really? <laughs> Good point there, Cyrus. No, this is different. Banner gave his life to prepare us for the evil that's coming. Just hope we're ready, because whatever we're about to face is going to be un unlike anything we've ever faced before. Hey, And you know what door is going to be next? Rise of the Sacred Beasts. So we'll be doing that next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys then. Have a great day. Peace.